You should go. You should go. You should go right now. Okay. 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 So, doing it. Let's see if the car can handle this one. So it doesn't want to stand in the walk sign, and our car just stands. So I have to. I have to give a space. I'm seeing some, you know, like confusion here and there where I need to. I have to, you know, supervise the car. This is for some reason it is stand in the green light, so I had to press the acceleration again to tell the car it should make a left. It is getting a little confused which lane it should stay on. Hello everyone, we are back with another full self-driving video, and this is a version two of Manhattan video, and we're gonna see how the car handles this drive it will be a 20 minutes drive and we are going to times square yes you heard it right we are going to times square and we're gonna see how fsd version 12.3.6 handle this busy street in the world so let's see how the car do it so we stop for this red light and we're gonna go and make a right turn here on this traffic light after it turns green and we're gonna see how the car handles this one so the light just changed and our car is moving making that right turn no hesitation no problem at all nice job there So the light just changed and we are moving forward again and now we have to make a right turn on uh, West 62nd Street and uh, our car is going slowly because uh, there are like few other cars in front of us So we'll see how the car handles this situation and we need to move to that right lane to make a right turn The car is doing everything right though. So we'll see so there are um, car just stopped there and Our car should make a right turn now. Yes going to that right lane very nice job let's see how the car handles this situation very very nice job there it changed the lane moved forward perfectly very nice job so as you guys can see this lane this 60 30 street is also going to west side but we're gonna make a right turn on 62nd uh, so I'm pretty sure the car needs to move to this left lane to go straight because this lane where we are currently right now is only make right turn but we'll see how the car handles this situation because we need to move one lane uh, to the left so we'll see how the car handles this one also guys if you guys are new in this channel please make sure you subscribe to our channel because in this channel we're gonna talk about FSD full self-driving and Elon Musk and Tesla and so many stuff the car did it perfectly that was great it increased the speed and uh, immediately changed the lane very very nice job so we're gonna make a right turn here but we'll see how the car handles this one the car is standing for some reason I pressed the acceleration a little bit so I pressed the acceleration I, I had to press the acceleration because one person was trying to go and there are like four person are waiting for me so I had to tell the car you should go right now because uh, there are like four people just waiting for me just you should go right and there's just one person trying to go or not so so that's why I just press that acceleration to tell the car you should go you shouldn't stop right now because the, like, the humans are standing for you to give a space so that you can make that right turn so I press the acceleration to tell the car you should go right now we'll make a left turn here as that yellow car is making that left but we definitely have to stop um, there are a few human there and again our car just stops I had to press that acceleration to tell the car you should go you should go you should go you should go right now okay 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 so I pressed that acceleration and for some reason the car because there is like the blue thing popping up on my screen I touched the steering wheel the FSD does disengage so I had to take over and make that left turn by myself um, you know like not a critical thing but it is still in beta feature so that's why probably the car couldn't handle it and that YOLO cab was crazy he stand after immediately he makes that left turn for some reason to picking up a passenger right so he was trying to pick a passenger over there and our car was not 
or trying to stop in the middle of the intersection so our car was proceeding but because of that blue mark on the screen i pre i literally touched the steering wheel a little bit but the fsd is engaged so i had to take over because i cannot stand over there right guys so we'll make a right turn here our car is going a little slow because there are a few other cars which is also making a right turn and right now we should go after this car our car is doing it let's see if the car can handle this one so it doesn't want to stand in the walk sign and our car just stands so i have to i have to give a space to this human i'm gonna go and back out a little bit this is not a stop um okay and now the walking sign appears so people is like started walking before that so we have to deal with this kind of thing right guys so it is what it is so we'll see how the car handles this situation right now i i disengage right guys so i'm gonna press that um autopilot again fsd when it is time so right now i'm gonna assist the car a little bit because the human are walking so now i'm gonna engage the autopilot again the first version of manhattan fsd video was perfect the car didn't make any mistake but this time i'm seeing some you know like confusion here and there where i need to i have to you know supervise the car this is why the car called the, the fsd version called supervised fsd version 12.3.6 and i am doing it so we'll see how the car handles this uh thing and uh, let's see right guys if i was driving i would just smash that car <laughs> i would never give you space to that people but you know you know have to it's because fsd is driving and our car is also gonna give a space to this person who wants to get in okay very nice very humble humble driver right guys okay you should go now no you don't give a space to everyone i don't like it drive like me now we are moving forward very nice little slow in the intersection i have to mention that because because whenever i'm seeing like the car is passing an intersection the car is little slow now we have to break because the light just changed and a nice job though now as you guys can see here there is a double parked usps truck here so we are here but we have to go in this lane and we'll see how the car handles this situation if the car can avoid that uh, truck by going in the right side so the light just changed you should immediately speed up and change the lane very nice job though very very impressive and now we'll go and may go straight this car is gonna make a right turn you should move in this lane okay you should go in the left go in the left yes go in the left yes good good job very very good job it changed the lane and then avoided those right turn car which is making a right turn on that traffic light we should go straight now but there are some humans and they're crossing the road on the green light now we should move again because there are a few others parked double parked car the car did it perfectly again moving it on the left very very human like driving very very nice like the car is doing everything nicely so now we need to go on the left side because we're gonna make a left turn and we'll see right guys but for some reason it is stand in the green light so i had to press the acceleration again to tell the car it should make a left because okay okay it is doing it it is doing it but okay let's see there is a car so don't go now don't go now and there is also another double park truck over there so that creates a uh, traffic in this road and we're gonna go and uh, the car is going very nice very nice now we should go in this lane but this is a double parked truck which is you know working right now so we have to move and like these other cars who is also making a right turn over here so we need to follow those cars so this white truck is doing something 
and our car is doing it perfectly very very nice job wow that is this thing is impressive this thing is so good wow it is getting a little confused which lane it should stay on the now the light just changed and our car is going braked a little bit so that it doesn't stuck on the intersection and this is how it should it should do okay it was very close to that sour van or tahoe and right now i'm gonna clean the windshield a little bit okay it is creeping super close to this car okay now we are in Times square guys we are in Times square so we'll see how the car handles this whole drive right guys also guys if you guys are new in this channel because of you guys i'm doing all this test i'm putting my car in risk and doing everything so support me by subscribing commenting and liking this video much traffic guys so 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 much traffic i'm pretty sure the car can handle this one because it is like slow and the car can have time to decide what to do so the car is doing everything nice so i'm just thinking if i should change the destination because we are in Times square as you guys can see those billboards right but i'm just thinking like not making this video so long by just standing in the traffic so we'll see because the light already changed again so we have to stuck So should I press acceleration? I don't want to block the whole intersection. And we're stuck again. So guys, I just don't want to, uh, you know, make this video super long. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to end this video because the drive was perfect other than those two takeover where I had to take over. Right, guys? So make sure you comment below which part you like the most. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.